Hello, welcome to another unwrapping, and this is a special one. This is one of a thousand limited edition LP on blood red and cursed green coloured vinyl. Very lucky to get Dracula by James Bernard, the City of Prague Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by Nick Rain. I've got this on CD. But this was just too good a one to turn up. Apparently this, this is one of the ones that has been in demand. That everyone's been asking for. So I consider myself very lucky to get this. As I say, it's only one of a thousand. Mine is number 298. This record has been manufactured without a shrink wrap. But it actually came in a proper sleeve. So I don't need to take off any... Stickers, they're all on there already. Oh, look at that. What a fantastic picture of uh, Peter Cushing. I haven't got this one. I haven't got the Curse of Frankenstein. I quite like these sort of um, hammer, sort of philharmonic sort of scores. Very hammery, sort of 1950s. Very good for when you're reading a book, a horror book, <laughs> to have plague in the background. All right, let's see what's in the middle. Oh, can't open it. This is, oh look, it's got a, ah. Okay, let's see. Oh. Oh, wow. Well, the pictures are fantastic. Of course, they couldn't use the original Frankenstein makeup. It was universal copyrighted that, so they did their own. I think they did a pretty good job, actually, of someone that's all made together. In fact, in some ways, uh, not iconic like the other one, but um, believable. Believable. Oh, my goodness. This looks fantastic. God, the pictures alone. Wonderful, aren't they? I'll just do some uh, close-ups so you can see all the writing. Not much to see on the front there, but of course you may wish to see that. Cursed green. <laughs> oh dear. Blood red and cursed green. Okay. It's really, I think. Oh, hang on, there's a little bit there. <laughs> I thought it said garlic powder then. Oh yeah, of course, that's when that bloke's been guillotined. Says, don't, let, don't let her see, don't let her see me being guillotined. Oh, it's black. So I might keep that to be in keeping. I was going to think if it's not a picture, I'll, I'll change it. All right, how blood red is it? Let's see. Oh, 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 it's really vibrant. It looks dull on the uh, screen. I'm just looking on the camera screen. It looks quite dull, but it's, I can assure you, it's a glossy pillar box red. Wonderful. I don't know, there's something. I, I love coloured vinyl, I've got a thing about coloured vinyl. But playing a Dracula album on red vinyl, that's that's the way to do it, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm very pleased to get this, very pleased. I think I'm running out of... Uh... 
drop in ones these sort. Let's get some more. Well, there we go. So there is, there he is, held behind this plastic. Christopher Lee, he has to go in there for now. <laughs> okay, so that's blood red. Now, what does cursed green look like? Oh, oh, we've got stuff to read as well. Oh, it's even better than I thought. Oh, oh, wow, that is so bright a green. Again, it looks dull on the camera, but it's it's a full iridescent, glossy green colour. Wow. Yeah, definitely a laboratory uh, chemical, not organic green colour. You could imagine it being some bottle bubbling away in Victor's lab there. Oh, that is fantastic. That really is wonderful, wonderful colours. And we get this card, it's not paper, it's a thick card, with uh, lots of writing on it. Sorry about that shadow there, but I'll just move it up. So you can pause and read if needed. Let's do two. Let's do two. Try and keep that there. So there's sort of notes about each um, each scene. And here's the Frankenstein that is writing on the blackboard in green. See, it looks like it's black to start with. You look closer and there's actually a writing. They're wonderful, aren't they, the old Hammer films? They didn't just do horror, though, did they? They did all sorts. Did a prehistoric one, didn't they? And, uh, all sorts of different things. In fact, I think I will dig out my Hammer box set DVDs and then um, add that on to the end of this video. So if you stay with me for a moment, I will... Uh, I would dig that out and put that on the end of this video. Right, so that's the end of this. Wow, got that red, that really is a nice jumping out red colour, that, my goodness. Right, I can't get it back in there. Come on, you can do it, come on. I'll do it the other way then. It's a bit fiddly on the corner.
Oh, it's got a. I should better keep that as well, hadn't I? I'm going to do this. I better put it back on the record, I think. It's all so fiddly. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just pop it in there. <laughs> right, that's that bit. I'll just get a few uh, DVDs. Okay, so uh, let's follow on from this with a few more hammer related things. This hammer box set. I've had this for quite a long time. I don't know how available it is now. I think I've seen one, but it's not as big as this one. This is like 21 discs. It's even got stuff on the base as well. It's got all sorts, this one. You can see it opens out. Oh look, it's in the wrong order. Should be like that, should be there we go. So we got these uh, postcards Reptile. That was Servalan, by the way, who played the Reptile. That's one of her first wars. Jacqueline Pierce is her name? Yeah, Jacqueline Pierce. It's Servalan. And of course, when I watched it originally, I hadn't seen Blake Seven. It hadn't come out yet. So uh, that caught me aback when I saw that again, the Reptile. Blood for the Mummy's Tomb. I forgot that these uh, little postcards were um, were in here. I'm just gonna flick through this booklet here like this. It looks like a zombie one, I think. Could be the reptile. I think they filmed the reptile and one of the zombies on the the same set. Pretty iconic, that isn't it? Funny, isn't it? They they cornered the market um, with their Dracula, but it was Universal that uh, got the most recognisable uh, Frankenstein. Mind you, it was a. They had a head start, didn't they? Uh, it was Dave Price there, of course. I met him once. Darth Vader. Yeah, so we get quite a. Let's just move my skulls back. I just brought my skull candles in uh, to show you. <laughs> Set the mood a bit. She, she looks lovely, Ursula Andress. Wasn't that, she never aged or something? Oh God, Nanny, Bette Davis. Trick of the Prince of Darkness. Do you know what, it's been a while since I looked through Plague of Zombies, that always got to me when I was a kid, that one. Because on a Saturday night, quite late, by 12 o'clock at night, on BBC Two, they used to play a double bill of horror films, and I wasn't allowed to stay up to watch them. And uh, I won a black and white portable telly at school. I couldn't believe it. And uh, 
I used to put it on and I had to turn the brightness right down because I didn't have a carpet. We didn't have carpets in those days, it's a lino. Would shine under the door if I had the brightness up too much. And it had a, not a headphone, so I had an ear piece it came with something and I put that in the side of the telly and then managed to just so I, I watched all of these horror films back in the day when they were on the BBC like really dim and with terrible sound <laughs> but uh, it reminds me of uh, how grateful I am now to have a nice big telly in a, in a room with a surround sound and what have you to watch it now to really enjoy it Viking Queen, do remember that one? Book three. I, oh, I've got so many things I've got to get around to watch. I am. I definitely haven't seen all of these. Didn't realise I had quite a mass in the pit on here because I've got it on Blu-ray. In fact, it's the 1950s one I've got on Blu-ray. I think. I got the Quatermass Experiment as well. Vengeance of She. Devil Rides Out. I've got the. Uh, the redone version of that on Blu-ray, where they just slightly, because they didn't have the budget to do what they wanted to do. So, um, do you remember there's a bit when they're going upstairs into um, like his planetarium, Patrick Moore's planetarium, and uh, they have an apparition. He's, he's a big guy, and uh, he says, "Don't look into his eyes." Now they they wanted blue flames all around him. They couldn't do it with the budget, so they've now done that. They've they put blue flames around, but it's very very subtly done. So you wouldn't think, oh, that's just been added on with CGI. It's really really subtly done. So there are a few uh, improvements. They definitely are improvements on the Blu-ray, and it's definitely worth a watch if you've only seen the uh, the original Devil Rides. Eh? It's very subtle, but it's just been tidied up in a few places to make it a. Uh, more like what they wanted it to be. It's probably one of my most favourite ones. Of course, got the Draculas. I completely forgot that I had so. Oh, look, there's another. Uh, so many things to watch. Yeah, I don't think that makeup really worked that well. I guess it's because his face was really quite untouched, wasn't it? Apart from Mummy's tomb. Yeah, so this box set is more of the um, Demons of the Mind. It's more of the the scarier ones. Or horror ones, I should say. Because obviously Hammer did do, like, obviously like One Million Years BC, he did do... Uh, non-horror stuff as well. Oh, I see, so that's a blank. I wonder if I wonder if there's some ghoul or something hidden in there. Doesn't sound like it. So... That was just the, uh, an added extra. <laughs> Seems we had some hammer stuff. That was the original DVD box set they've had for many years now. You open the box, we came. <laughs> well anyway, there we are. So that was just a, a little look at what's in this great big box set. You've probably got Amazon for about eight thousand pounds now, or something from a seller. So I say there are there are some. This is the twenty one disc collection. There are some that've got a lot less in than this. It'd be nice to get them all on Blu Ray, wouldn't it? Studio Canal, that one is as well. Okay, thanks for watching. See you again next time.